This week on El Cara Ham Radio, we've got a trailer barn find, an old 30-year-old trailer that we're going to make look new again and has been dubbed MCOM Junior. We're going to utilize this trailer for carrying equipment such as generators, fuel, weights, masts, large antennas, so that we can free up some room in our normal MCOM trailer. This week on El Cara Ham Radio. Well, I wanted to uh, do a quick shot here of some of the equipment that's in the back of our regular emergency communications trailer. This is our beautiful trailer that we've spent a lot of time and effort on over the last year and a half. And it's just uh, got a lot of stuff in the back. We've got generators, we've got cables, we've got uh, the weights there in orange so that we can really tie things down in case we can't put stakes in the ground. We've got tents, we've got additional antennas like the Tar Heel there and uh, the tripod and so forth. So what we need to do is free up some space in our regular MCOM trailer. And just out of the blue one day, AC4DM says, you know, it'd be kind of nice if we had an equipment trailer. And uh, I said, well, sure, but I guess we'd have to go get a trailer. Of course, he's looking at me with that crooked smile and he goes, so I, I've already got a trailer <laughs> in one of my barns. Uh, of course you do. So uh, here it is, uh, you know, it doesn't look like much today. But uh, when we get done with it, this thing's going to be the new hotness. So I got it out into the sun here. AC4 DM and I dragged it out of the barn here. You can see it's it's got spider webs, cobwebs. It's got leaves, uh, leaves. It's got you know dirt uh, accumulation. It had probably been in the barn for 18 to 20 years. That's no joke. Uh, one of the hoops is there on it. Uh, you can kind of make it look like a Conestoga wagon and uh, one of those is on there as well it's just it's it's a perfect size for carrying equipment and that's what we're going to do uh, we're going to gussy this thing up and make it look new again and it's going to take a little bit of work but again when you have a club and you've got active members they don't mind pitching in a saturday here a wednesday there if they're off or and retired to go and make this thing look new again and so we're going to show you the first two days of work on this trailer AC4 DM and I on the first day, and then I brought in some help uh, for the second day. So here we've blown the leaves out of the back of the trailer that had accumulated there uh, inside and uh, looking a little less uh, dirty. <laughs> it still needs a wash, but uh, now at least we have it empty. So we need to pull it over to the, uh, the other location on the farm so we can kind of begin working on this. So out brings the tractor, AC4 DM has a, a tractor on site of course and uh, we're going to hook it up to the uh, the hitch and pull this over to another part of the farm where we can actually start working on it just li love listening to that tractor and off she goes <laughs> what a great horn sound for the uh, the tractor there as we take it over. Uh, it had some low tires, as one would expect, being 18 to 20 years in a barn. And uh, so we get it over to the other area. So one of our first uh, uh, jobs is to take the panels off. Now, these wooden panels were built by AC4DM. These did not come with the original trailer, plus the hardware, plus the, uh, the lights, the reflectors, he's done all of that work in the past. He used to be a mechanic. I guess he's still a mechanic. He just doesn't do much of that work today. But we're going to begin to uh, take these panels off so that we can begin to recondition these uh, in addition to the, uh, the trailer itself. And then once we get all these panels off, you can see what he purchased 30 years ago. And the story is he only bought the trailer so that he, get, he could get a new riding lawnmower back to his house uh, so they could mow the grass and he didn't have a way to get the lawnmower back to his house so he bought a fairly ex inexpensive trailer for its time 30 years ago so here we are we are taking off the panels we got most of the panels off this is the last one so uh, just need to uh, persuade it 
And now we have the trailer. Now, this is what he bought 30 years ago, and it's got 12-inch tires, uh, which we uh, think we're going to replace with some larger tires just so that we can carry more load. And uh, we get, begin the process of, you know, just kind of cleaning it up. We'd already gotten the leaves out of it. Now we just need to sweep some additional dirt out. Uh, and later in the video, as we'll see, we'll get the pressure washer out and we'll begin to get some of the other gunk off of the, uh, the wood and the panels. Some of you might look at this uh, deck that he's currently standing on and go, well, you might want to replace that. Um, it's actually not in that bad shape and it's thick. It's uh, probably three quarters of an inch. A little rough, sure. Uh, because it had been used. Uh, AC4DM and WM4LM, our club officers, uh, two of our club officers, used to be a part of the Civil Air Patrol, and they used to take young uh, young uh, teenagers out and do uh, Civil Air Patrol stuff in this trailer. So it got used quite a bit after it was used to uh, dump or uh, deliver the, uh, the lawnmower. So we're putting air in the tires. Uh, one of the tires didn't even register any pressure, was looking pretty low, and we pumped them up with about 32 pounds, I think it was. And so that was the first day. That's kind of what we got involved in to begin the new renovation of this trailer. Now on the second day, we get out the pressure washer, and uh, I'm not gonna let you uh, have to listen to the pressure washer the entire video, but uh, got the pressure washer out and uh, KY4CKP uh, tried his hand at cleaning off some of the, again, the additional gunk, the spider webs and things like that, some of the dirt and dust that accumulated on the rails and so forth. And so we're just giving it a good pressure wash uh, without uh, uh, getting too involved. And what we're going to end up doing is painting uh, the trailer black. Uh, currently it's got this kind of rustic red. And we're also going to uh, renovate or recondition these panels. Now, this is just the deck, but we have those other panels, which will come into the video in just a minute. So we're just making sure that we uh, pressure wash and clean off anything. And in addition, on some of these panels, we're taking off the old hardware. Uh, the screws, bolts, nuts, and uh, washers are uh, not stainless. So AC4DM has a lot of stainless hardware there on site. So we're going to replace a lot of this with stainless so it'll look nice and it'll pop a little better, won't look rusted. And now we're taking the actual side panels and we're uh, pressure washing these as well. Now these are painted black. So the uh, the idea here is, is we're gonna paint those El Cara blue, similar to the uh, shirt color that you see there on me as I uh, pressure wash. And there's our new Ham Hacker Randy patches. Anybody interested in those patches, just let us know. We can sell some of those to you. Uh, if you haven't seen the Fox Hunt video, you need to go take a look at that. And so we're just finishing up pressure washing some of these panels. Again, a lot of accumulated dirt and dust, spider webs, that sort of thing. And we're also taking off the old lights and wiring on this trailer. We're going to uh, redo uh, the lights with LED lights. We're going to rerun new wire into a four pin connector that can be connected to uh, most trucks that have a towing package. So you can see a little bit of pitting and rust there on the trailer. We're going to take care of that with some sanding. And then we're also going to replace, uh, again, all the lights and so forth. And some of the brackets and so forth need to be repainted. We're going to uh, recondition those, make those look nice again, and paint those nice and black. So the trailer will be black. The side panels will be El Cara blue or some approximation of that. And then we plan to put some signs on the side with our El Cara Club logo. Now, the last bit of work we're going to do here in this video is to start sanding the deck, and we also need to sand the panels, but we just had enough belt sanders for the deck, and in fact, uh, uh, the, the belts uh, themselves were a little bit old, so they didn't uh, stick around very long, but uh, we went through several. <laughs> I had to buy more, but we wanted to get uh, again uh, some of the roughness out of the deck and some of the old paint on the uh, side panels as well, which will come up in another video. And so we're just doing a little bit of belt sanding there, and then we'll clear all of that off, and then we'll get this ready for new paint. And as we have said many times before, if you're in a club, look for projects like this where you can have a lot of fun, you can bring a lot of the members together, and uh, all of a sudden you've got an asset that the club can use. Coming up in part two of building the MCOM Junior trailer, we're going to finish up some sanding, maybe get some uh, paint on the trailer itself and on some of those panels, and looking forward to putting some new wheels and tires. 73.